Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. I gave the bang, bang, bang hands because the shooters are out tonight. What's up, y'all? Good to see everybody. Thursday night. It's the 24th. Crazy world. Crazy things going on. But guess what hasn't changed? Still the same old simp. Carolina Keith here. Call me Keith. Call me simp. Call me Professor Keith. Whatever you want to call me. I don't mind. But this is Crypto After Dark. And welcome here. Welcome, everyone. Glad to see you. Um, if you haven't done so, we talk about this every time. Please go hit like. Why? Because if you hit like, YouTube likes it better. We got 100 likes every video for the last several in a row. Let's do it again. While you're there, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And shit will automatically pop you up. Honey Bun knows is hilarious, Speedsy. Um, we got some cool shit to talk about tonight, and I want to show you what I've seen and what I've been thinking about here, and uh, we'll go back in history a little bit and talk about what we've been doing and what we when we have said and what we haven't said, because I think it's important to have a little bit of retrospect on what we're doing. Um, a lot of world events have happened recently, and you know, um, people love to people love to blame things on world events. What I'll say is. While that's not completely out of range, and I get it because there's nothing you can do about a world event happening, world event happening. I will say this. Um, you know what? It was a buyer or a sell before that. I keep hearing about how the fuel prices have gone up because of what Russia's doing. The problem is, I remember all the way back to last year where people were saying it was Biden's fault that the gas was going up and putting the stickers that says, I did this. On the pumps. That's been a while. That hadn't been yesterday or a couple of weeks. That's been a while. So what are we really complaining about here? Okay. Um, you know, it kind of seems like people have been whining about gas prices for longer than a couple of days. So since that's the case, we really shouldn't be trying to blame the war on that. Not to mention the fact that we kind of told everyone that if a conflict happened beforehand, the charts would show you to buy or sell. Well, we're going to go over a little bit of that tonight. I want to talk about some of the things um, that I've seen that I think is going to continue happening or that may happen some more. Um, I, you know, a lot of commodities are going to go up. Why? Well, there's a lot of defense contracts out there that need to be filled now because it looks like everyone's going to war. If they go to war, what do they need? I mean, they need fuel. They need food. Who has food contracts with the government? Well, Mars has food contracts with the government. They, they make M&Ms and Twix and Crunch Bars and Crackle Bars and Milky Ways and Snickers and Three Musketeers. Yeah, they send those to the soldiers, in case you didn't know. Who else has military contracts? Jack Dagnalls. Jack Dagnalls. Jack Daniels, for everyone else who didn't know that, they have a contract. Old number seven. What do they do? They send liquor to the uh, they send liquor to the soldiers over there on pallets. Yes, pallets. Pallets full of whiskey for them. Who else has contracts? Marlboro. What is Marlboro? That's R.J. Reynolds, folks. Because a lot of soldiers smoke. You don't have to understand why. But understand that they get shot in the face and shot in the leg and sh shot in the neck and the leg and everything else. If they want a cigarette, you shut the fuck up and give them one. Okay. There's a ton of other companies that have similar traits. They're going to get they're going to make money off of the war. That sounds awful, doesn't it, folks? Oh my god, they're going to make money off of the war. What kind of awful human would make money off the war? This one. Already did. Too late. If you're the kind of person that makes money off of the war, you're a war dog. That's what those are called. Those are people who capitalize off of conflicts. In case you don't understand what a war dog is, someone just mentioned Halliburton over here in the comments. This is dead on, right on the money. Dick Cheney is a war dog. Dick Cheney had a a great time with the war because Halliburton got a military contract and made a shit ton of money. Okay? Beretta, military contract. Remington, military contract. Armalite, military contract. Buffalo vehicles are built by a company called Kemet. And they're in Shelby, North Carolina, and they build they build armored vehicles for the military. Military contract. Dell, Microsoft, military contracts. Apple, military contracts. 
Yeah. Intel, military contracts. All these companies are going to continue to do well if there's a conflict, and especially if there's a worldwide conflict. There may be some short-term losses, yes, but there's going to be some big-time gains made. All these people are called war, are called war dogs. You may think Raytheon. There's a good one. Son of a bitch, Raytheon. Let me write that down. That's a good one. Um, natural gas. And then we got uh, gold, which I got put up on the screen here. We got silver. Platinum. Um, nickel. Brass. Um, all these things are needed. All these things are needed to make war. Why? Well, you need bullet casings to make brass bullets. Yeah. It's a lot of brass, isn't it? Maybe you're going to use buy steel, the cheap stuff. Well, that's steel, and that steel's got to come from somewhere. Exactly. You need primers for all those bullets. Who makes primers? You need brass or copper to go on the bullets. Lead? No problem. You need lead for the bullets. Every single precious metal goes up in value all of a sudden. Gunpowder. Yeah, now you need minerals. Yeah, sulfur, chlorine, this kind of stuff. Phosphorus. Everything that's required to make the military go around. Cotton, wool, latex, all this stuff that's used in the war. Acrylic. Yes, goggles. Yeah, they all wear goggles over there, right? So they don't get shit in their eyes. Yeah, those are acrylic. Over and over and over again. War dogs. Are you a war dog? Well, I kind of am. I've already made money off of the... Uh, I've already made money here. So not, I'm not going to not gonna argue about it. So first things first, let's see you all's in here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about some stuff we got going on here because I want to run through some charts for you and show you what I'm talking about. Who do we, whom do we see here? Anna Hartz was first. She said, can I request Fibonacci settings? Sure you can. Sure you can. Um, John Brown, good to see you. Frank, Brett, Martin, Martini time. Let's go. That's what's up. Uh, Luna looks good on everything but the cloud. Like Mullet said, 61 bucks, give or take. Listen to what the guy says. He's smart. TZ, good to see you. Jeremy Monroe, Speed C. The Mayor, Existence, High Water X. What's up, Jeremy, Big Dex, Ignacio, good to see you. Tiffany Britt, what's up, Mrs. Terry Brennan, Law Gulvin, 420. I think I said, I think I said it right. Russell Thomason, Bill Esch, Juan Pablo. Pepper, good to see you, dude. Miss Bev, what's up? <clears throat> good to see you. Uh, 185, possible, Anna, possible. Uh, what's up, Stifler? Good to see you, brother. Tuned SI, what's up? Hal, old digital owl dot crypto, what's up, dude? Um, Clayton Stevers, awesome name. Ashley Vandermeer, one of the queens. Luis Jr., good to see you. Uh, Mr. Dick, what's up? Um, <laughs> it's a funny name every time. Gagley, Man Manolo, good to see you. Raging Beagle, that's an angry dog, by the way, y'all. <laughs> Step Stacks, good to see you. Which pharma has government contract? Morphine, bro. Um, Procter & Gamble has one. Um, Johnson & Johnson has one. Um, What's up? What's up, Andrew motherfucker for you? He said, what's good, cheese bags? <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, Check out Moog. Yep, they have a uh, government contract, I believe. Uranium tipped. Ooh, ooh. Thank you, Tony. Lockheed Martin. I know everybody only wants crypto, and I get that. But uh, everyone's got to understand that there's a lot of money to be made everywhere, okay? And since there's money to be made everywhere, go make it. Don't get mad about it. Go go get that money, okay? Um, sup, Darth Dizzy Dre? What's up? <laughs> Vumu today. JH, good to see you. Uranium PDBC. PDBC. Uranium. And there's a bunch of uranium companies too, also, that not necessarily sell uranium, but they work with uranium. And those companies' prices went up as well. Plastics like Speed C. That's a petroleum based product. Who makes bullets? Remington, sir. Remington has a pretty good contract with the government to make bullets and federal ammunition. Um, so 
let's get to look at some of these. And I want to start with gold that I have here. Why do I want to start with gold? <clears throat> well, if we can remember back a couple months. What's up, Danny Deep Pockets? Um, Andrew is shorting Keith in Rocket League right now. Bro, Andrew's got like a bazillion a bazillion wins in Rocket League. It's not even funny, dude. I've like I start, I've been playing for like three days. He's got like a bazillion wins. I've got like five. <laughs> Um, it, earlier it was reported that Bitcoin was selling for 3000 less on Robinhood than exchanges. Uh, yeah, you're right, actually. Welcome to stupidity on Robinhood. And that's exactly why I don't use Robinhood. Uh, Andrew said 20x short to be exact. Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway, if we can think back to here on gold. On November 17th, we did a live stream and I had gold as the thumbnail. Okay. What I showed you on gold was, while I think it was going to be long term long, Short term, we had some more down ahead because we had to finish forming the handle of a cup and handle formation. We've talked on here a lot about what a cup and handle is and what it isn't. This is a cup and handle, and I'll show you what I mean here. All right, let's take this off for a second. For a cup and handle formation to be accurate, it needs to take a certain amount of time, at least six to eight months. Well, hey, everybody. Gold's been way more than that. This goes all the way back to 2011. This is almost 13 years, 12 years of this shit, okay? For the cup, no problem. That part's easy. Nice and sweeping move here. For the handle, what needs to happen? The handle needs to come down and be above support, above long-term support. Where is long-term support? Well, let's find it. I'll grab a box here. Base is itching. Long-term support. Where would that be? Well, we have a long-term support zone here, more down here, a, a ton of support down here, a ton. But that would invalidate the cup and handle. That would be too far down. We don't want it to come that far down. That would be a cup and handle. That would just be a big, huge retrace. So we'll start first with our resistance and support zone up here. This zone right here, this box, that's very good support. The price was over it for a very long time. It dipped down through it and kind of fought above it. If you see my cursor right there on the right, but the line is on the left, I'm touching the support zone on the top right there. So I'm going to drag this box on over. And what you see is this thing bounced off of the support and rode up. Now you see the handle of the cup and handle forming. A, a cup and handle must close and hold above support to, to actually be a cup and handle. It can't just be a random shape. There's your cup. Here's your handle. And let's see if this thing hesitates right here and makes a little move like this or what and goes. Tough call. We'll see. Either way, this is like a massive fucking cup and handle. What kind of targets are we talking here? Well, let's find them, shall we? That's the fun part. As war happens, precious metals increase in value. Why? Precious metals are a universal currency. That's why. <clears throat> so even in time of war, one who holds gold holds value because that gold is worth something to someone else, no matter whether you're at war or not. Maybe your currency of your country isn't any good. Maybe you're an asshole. Maybe you speak Russian. And uh, you have a shit ton of gold, but you don't have any money. Well, you can sell that gold for goods. Maybe food, maybe water, maybe rations, maybe fuel, whatever. So having gold is a good thing for them. And they have a shit ton of it, by the way. Thank you, by the way, Tony, for the 50 bones. TZ, bro, thank you. Randy, I am the liquor. That's Leahy, sir. That's Leahy, not Randy. But I appreciate the sentiment anyway. I got adult Capri Suns tonight. Okay, adult Capri Suns. Why do I have them? Because they're good. I'm on a diet, and I haven't had anything that was sugary at all, and I'm feeling lit right now, okay? Because I've already had one. That gold has value to someone else somewhere, unlike your currency that may be shit. So if that's the case, who has a lot of gold? Russia has a lot of gold. <clears throat> so there's a very high probability that they'll be able to use that gold to sell it off to somebody for something. And what will that get them? Well, that'll likely get them whatever they need. And for that matter, gold becomes important. Now, I have a 1272 target up here to around $2,269. I want to draw a box around that for a reason, okay? These always get drawn, have boxers drawn around them because these high time frame Fibonacci targets often get hit. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, I wouldn't do them. Okay. Now that we see the long term targets, there's a 1618 up here too. I just didn't 
I just didn't mark it yet because it's really far up there. So I don't want to get too optimistic about this. I'll leave these red boxes up here for reference. I'm going to do this short-term move right here, the short-term downtrend and break. And we'll see where those, line, those targets line up to. All right, sweet. That's from the top. From the top of this to the bottom here. And now we've reversed up. As you see, we blew right through the 50 fib. Smoked right through it, no problem. We went up here and wicked and touched the 786. Right there, see that? Went up there and touched it and fell back. Okay? That kind of sucks, but that kind of tells you this thing wants to move, but it hasn't hasn't got its hadn't had its full run yet. As a matter of fact, gold went crazy this morning. Um, a lot of people made good money on gold. So uh, this needs to break Sniper's Alley. If it can break Sniper's Alley, which it has not done yet, then we have upper targets. What are the upper targets? Well, that 1414 line right there lines up perfectly with the bigger, higher time frame, cup and handle move, of that 1272. And this 1414 up here has 1618. In between both of these other take profits so everything up here is going to be a take profit zone and everything up here will be a very sketchy buy in my opinion i would much rather buy down here and ride this up to here i like gold long term here absolutely even though the indicators are starting to spike up a little bit like you see no matter which one i pull up here you'll see all these indicators are kind of high gold has went really high before i expect it to make another run like that so long as we have conflict in the air Precious metals are going to increase in value. Okay. Simple as that. Uh, let's go to silver here. <clears throat> what is silver needed for? Yeah. Just the same thing, dude. A lot of warfare now is electronic. Okay. You got to have silver inside the electronics to make them work better. Good conductors that last longer and can take the shock and the heat and the turmoil that you have when you're out there in the, in the field working, uh, out there in the field, out there in the field fighting. Um, 100% chance that silver will go up as well. As you see, we slapped a 50 fib here so far. And you look at it closely here, it's not as far ahead as gold. Gold was up here at 786886. This one's just barely hitting the 50 fib. Look at the MACD. It's barely started moving yet. This has got more in it. It may not have it right this second, but this chart has more in it. All right, I can almost bet you it comes back up here and chases back up toward 25 at least. I think that's got more more in it toward more toward $28 in my opinion, but it's going to take a bit to get there. And sorry about my voice, dude. I had to tear my, I had to tear it on one of my kids' asses day, man. He was just he was just doing it. He was just he begging for it, and I had to get I had to get my I had to get up on my voice chip a little bit here, man. I've been a little bit raspy ever since. 81 people watching. We got 54 likes. If everyone would go hit the like button, that would be super awesome. Um, we get a hundred likes like we have had every stream for the last multiple. That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, silver looks similar to me, only it's a little behind in my opinion. It's not as far ahead as gold is. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's discord chirping at me. Long term, similar strategy here for silver. One, two, seven, two, one, four, one, four up here at 34 and 33, but that could take a very long time to happen. And I don't want to tell you to jump in and long that because you'll get liquidated if you try to long that on a Forex run. Be careful there. All right. Uh, you know, for Forex, I'm on low time frames only and uh, I'm getting in and getting out. And though I may watch the daily trend about how many times I want to get in and get out, I'm, I'm doing that on the low time frame just to get in and get out and get in and get out. I don't want to, I don't want to press it. I don't want to press it. Oh, I got you, TZ. Sorry, brother. I said it wrong. I thought you were just trying to say I was Leahy, which I was like, no, bro, that's Leahy, not Randy. Like, <laughs> that's pretty good. So let's see what happens with silver. Again, it's hit the 50 fib. It needs to break it first. That's $25.30. I'm sorry, $25.43. Give it a little bit more. See what happens. Already made a crazy good run. Um, Where do you trade gold and silver? Over the telephone radio. Um, Russia calls China and says, hey, man, I need... I need 10 million rounds of ammo and I need 700,000 uh, military rations and I need 4 million cases of water. How much will you take for that? And China says, I'll take one ton of gold, 2,000 pounds. Okay, there you go. Done. I'll have it shipped to you. On the, on, I'll have it shipped to you tomorrow. That's it. Done. 
Now you've traded gold for whatever commodities you need. Simple as that. And don't think that won't happen. Okay. If shit gets wild, that will happen. Um, this don't ever, don't ever underestimate the, the, the willingness of the willingness of ego, 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 man, ego, man, how do you say it? Ego maniacs. There you go. Ego maniacs to, uh, take it farther than they should. Not financial advice. Like Pepper said, uh, he said buy physical gold only not financial advice. I get that. Nothing wrong with having physical gold either. Gold holds its value. Even if it's not popular right now. All right. Let's look at WTI crude, which is U.S. oil. This got a little wild today, too. All right. This is the weekly chart. As you see, it sprinted up here to take profit lines. A similar strategy as gold, right? Where you had 141.618, and they're right in between some of your take profit lines. That's a bigger high time frame take profit line of $114 a barrel. I keyed in on 100 and, 100 and 103. Guess what? That bitch went $100.47 yesterday. Really gnarly candle right here. I don't like the look of this. Uh, you know, this thing may wick chase a little bit here, but this sucks. I, that that kind of shows me that it's going to it's going to roll over and quit here soon. Um all the uh all the divergences are there on the RSI and MACD. So this may pucker out for a little while and die off some, but I fully expect it to keep going in the long term. It may just pull back down to a take profit line and an idle to gain some strength. Um, fuel has already made a hell of a run. As you see, this thing um, on a daily chart was a buy. Let's pull up the 821 here. Yep. This thing was a buy all the way back in uh, December, uh, two days before Christmas on December 23rd. Uh, Gas gave you, or your WTI crude gave you a uh, a buy signal, and you've hit it big if you rode that up. Uh, let's see how much you made actually. That would be here, and that goes all the way up to here. Uh, yeah, twenty eight percent. Shoo and you're on leverage too. God Almighty, that's a hell of a rip right there, Andrew. That's a lot of pips, bro. That's more money than I can count. Um, that's how millionaires are made right there, folks, by technical analysis. Simple as that. Um, let's see. Let me answer. What's up, you little D-O-double-G? Good to see you. Peter Schiff is pumped. Yeah, I don't like that, dude. All right, natural gas. Natural gas. All right, here we go with natural gas, too. Similar situation where it's bouncing around over the over the buy signal. MACD's kind of riding up. Let's have a look at the pivots real quick. Mm, you're over the pivot. That's bullish. How about the cloud? Why not, right? Oh, she's peeking over the cloud, everybody. Watch out. You got four. You got four check marks. Better watch out for natural gas, everyone. You got a lag line over the price. You got a price over the cloud. You got a Conversion line over baseline, you got a green cloud. That is all go on the cloud for natural gas. Let me mark that. Right there. Watch out. Raytheon Technologies Corporation. Boy, look at that hammer candle that this bitch just threw. Stock markets are down everywhere, right? Oh man, they're just uh, oh man, all oh, the whole market's down ever wrong. Look at Raytheon. Look at that bastard of a hammer candle right there. Look at Raytheon while Facebook, Tesla, Roblox, everybody's down. Look at look at Raytheon go. Man. Yeah, this is only going to get bigger for them, all right? The more conflict, the more money they make. War dogs. Brilliant. Say whatever you need to say, but that's just a fact of the matter. They're gonna, they're going to make a ton of money. They kind of make a ton of money. How much? This chart looks a lot like Bank of America. Hmm. Wonder who'll be moving money. Yeah, you're figuring it out now? Yeah, you'll figure it out soon enough. All right. Let's see if there's a pivot up there somewhere. Sure enough, R3 is right below 1272. Let's drop her in a linear for a second and see if that changes anything. Yeah, R3 at 1272, about 108 bucks. About the same there. Let's do this. I like 108 
to 117. I know that's a big range, but that's the difference between linear and log, and I don't want to get confused between the two. Uh, that MACD is up hard. Yeah, this looks like it could peter out a little bit, and that would the short-term extension right there would be around the same price. I expect it to fiddle out and fizzle around $109, $108.50, call it that. $108.50 because that would be a little bit under take profits perfectly, which would get your order filled. So Raytheon looks good to me. Platinum. Platinum. All right, watch out. Platinum did something similar, everybody. Doesn't look like much yet, but you wait. That bitch is going to turn the corner. It's already made a broken. It's already tried to break trend one time here. I bet you this is over the 821. Yep. Sitting on top of R1. It gapped up a little bit right there. Look at that gap that it made. Ooh. Watch out. Platinum's going to get a run, too. Where's it going to go? At least R2 to at least 1,083 minimum. This means the price of goods goes up, too, by the way. Why? Because all your cars have platinum catalytic converters in them. All your cars have palladium as well in them, which is another precious metal. Um, platinum is also used in manufacturing. Hey, everybody, did I tell you that we might be going to war and that manufacturing might pick up? Boy, if this breaks 1,077, that's over Sniper's Alley, and that opens up 1,170, 1,206, and 1,260, running with gold and silver. Dude, watch out for platinum. Big deal. Nickel? Ooh, look at nickel make a run. Up and up and up and up and up. Nickel is used in a lot of cell phones, cell phone batteries with lithium, um, a lot of things like that. Really gnarly shooting star candle right here. I expect nickel to pull back some, but long term, I expect it to go up more. Maybe a short term drawback down, but that is a really gnarly, really gnarly shooting star candle. Andrew, short that please, sir. Nickel looks gnarly. That's a gnarly, really bad shooting star candle. Brass. I don't think I can find a chart on that. It'd probably be like U.S. Steel or General Steel or something. Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin. Mm, mm, mm. Why you have a red candle, that's a bit of a... Uh, an ugly reverse hammer right there. Uh, a red hammer at the top usually isn't great. I want you to look at the gap that it made. It's a short term might be down, but yeah, this bitch is going to run too. Jesus, dude. There's people so much, so much money is going to get made. God almighty. People don't quite understand what you're saying when you say this stuff to people. Everyone on here is a bit more informed than, than the normal person. You're going to see this stuff and you're going to go, holy shit, all these companies are going to get paid. Man, they're going to come out on the green. They're going to come out in the green on the other side. And you're going to go, damn, I should probably do something similar. China might make a move on Taiwan next. Yeah, dude, if China makes a move on Taiwan, that'll be what sets it off. Because we've said multiple times, U.S. has multiple times, that if Taiwan gets messed with, that's when we start fighting. Because we're a friend of Taiwan. If Taiwan opens up, then the Mariana Islands open up. Mariana Islands open up. Those are U.S. territories. So now you're talking about fucking with U.S. territories, okay? Vanuatu and all that out there, you can't, you shouldn't fuck with them. That's a mistake. Saipan, all those out there, big mistake. Um, Yvonne's out there. She knows what I'm talking about. She hasn't been around in a while. Or she's been busy. Uh, don't mess with those people out there. That's a big deal. Don't, don't start it. Um, here we go again here. Still, 1272, 1414, and 11618. Targets are high point targets. However, you got an R3 pivot up there at 419. Let's flip it into linear for a second here. Didn't change much. 416 to 419 looks like a solid target for Lockheed Martin long term. Ooh, that's scary. Boeing. Ooh, Boeing has been coming down pretty hard lately. Look at that. They had that really gnarly fall back when, uh, you know, the quote-unquote Rona happened. And they already had it short up here. You had this all this divergence. Yeah, you should have already been shorting that. 
And ever since then, it's kind of drove sideways in this odd pattern here where it's going up, down, up, down, up, and down. And now it's kind of tripling to the side here, not doing much. But look at that big green ass candle coming off of S1. And I bet you this flips this 821 around pretty soon, especially if we go into full on war, because that's when we'll need more planes. We'll need more troop carriers. We'll need more helicopters. Bell helicopters is another one too. Because Bell Helicopters makes a ton of stuff for the U.S. All right. Boeing is not a buy yet, though. Um, PDBC. We'll take a break here in a second, then we'll pivot back to crypto. But I wanted to give you guys some different perspectives from around the world, okay? This is important stuff that you can't pass up on, okay? You got to be able to catch the stuff and see it coming. Investco Optimum Yield Diversified. Look at this, man. This thing had a massive fucking gap right here. Bet you that feels up to 19 bucks. Oof. Uh, yeah, that's going to come back. <laughs> that's, a, that's a humongous gap. Um, that'd be a good try to swing if you wanted to swing an option trade on that one. Uranium. All right, let's just do gold uranium ETF. Yeah, that's a good one. Boy, look at that big-ass candle it threw right there. Damn. Still under the pivot, still not convinced. It hasn't broken the trend yet. As you see, there's a clear-cut trend. Prove it. Make me a higher high and a higher low, and we can talk. But it hasn't done shit. Um, Moog Incorporated. Big, huge candle again. Watch out. Same exact chart as uh, uranium, only a little bit better. More fat. Someone asked about Heather asked about my fib settings. All right, so let's do this. I pull the fib, we click on settings. Here are my numbers that I use. 0, 236, 38250 are standard numbers. So is 618, that's a standard number. 786 is a standard number. 618, standard number, but this is one of the take profit lines. One is standard. 1272 is another take profit line, and 1414 is the third take profit line. 886 I add in. Why? Because we see a lot of action at 886 and it gives us a better range of feel. So I like to throw 886 in there as well. I don't use any background because it looks stupid. And I always put my right, my values on the right, the labels on the right, because I like it that way because I'm left-handed and it just works better for me. Always keep fib levels based on log scale check because most of what I do is in log scale. And then if you change that, you can change it, and it'll actually adjust the fibs for you, so you're fine. Um, that's my fib settings. Um, is there a carbon fiber company? I don't know about that. Maybe 3M? Um, so how does someone at home trade all these metals? Which platform? All the, uh, Sans are they're all available on, on uh, any Forex platform to trade with. Um, you can use uh, uh, Trader's Way, um, Oanda. Uh, Hugo's Way, I like Hugo's Way because uh, they have cryptos on there too, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, all these different Forex pairs have precious metals on them too. Yeah, so you can uh, you can find everything you need through there. Let's take a quick break. We have 94 people watching, 76 likes. Everybody go hit like for me if you would. Hit the like button. Why? Wow, because it's better that way and YouTube likes us more. If we hit the like button, I'm going to have a drink of my juice box. So good, God. I'm going to be sick in the morning, but it's going to be a sugar sickness because I haven't had any sugar in like four days. I'm on a diet. And man, whew, I'm bouncing off the walls right now. Typically, I would talk slower the more alcohol I get in me, but because this stuff's got, got a lot of sugar in it, I'm going, whoo. All right. Um, so let's see what some people saying real quick. Pelosi made any war trades recently? No, she's still in her same options. Um, she has to, uh, she has to uh, admit what she does. Uh, but look at that Roblox chart. 10% today. Ooh. How about that? CRM, trying to come back. Tesla, she already sold that one. Um, Micron, look at Micron trying to turn the corner. It's almost like people know, right? I mean, maybe she was off on her timing or whatever, but still. You really think she's going to lose lose money? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Need a push pop, dude. Push pops. Oh my god, dude. That's some old school shit right there. They, these kids don't know about push pops and rocket pops, dude. The red, white, and the blue one. Um, your boy sugar buzzed. Damn right, Mr. Dick. Hey, what's up, Grant Forrester? I'm back. Good evening. What's up? Good to see you, brother. Um, Wakanda forever. <laughs> Unobtainium. Ronan said unobtainium. <laughs> Adamantium. Dude, is there an adamantium chart? If that was, that'd be hilarious. If you have gold on your boat, you're automatically a pirate. This is stupid, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, all this couldn't be stopped in one pipeline. So another company can take market share. Could it now? Exactly. Is there any way to invest? Yeah, we talked about that. Oh, no. Is there any way to invest in gold without having to physically buy it, having a home address? Yes, you can, but you can also just ship it to a P.O. box, Capitana. That's uh, the easier way. Have it shipped to a P.O. box or or have it shipped to the post office. The post office will hold it for you until you're ready to pick it up. You can just call them and let them know. They'll come and scoop it. They'll come and give it, right? They'll deliver it to you by hand. Um. All right. Cypress star fudge. <laughs> Turn it up. Sugar makes hangovers worse, bro. I know, right? <laughs> Hexel is a large carbon fiber company manufacturer. Let's see that. Hexel. Hexel. Oh, they got the big green candle too, didn't they? That bitch has been driving sideways for a minute. Oh, watch out. All these companies are going to get paid. You know that carbon fiber they use? Carbon fiber, porcelain, and... um. Oh, shit. Kevlar. They use a ton of that shit. 3M's big. That's what I'm saying. They use a ton of that shit over there in the military. You watch and see. How about you who and honey buns, bro? Don't. Because every time I hear you who and honey buns, my eyes light up a little bit. And I know that sounds ridiculous. But that makes me smile every single time, dude. Even if I'm having a shitty day, if you brought up you who and honey buns, I'd be like, mm. that shit's important, dude. By the way, I'm going to have another one of the KYCC videos. Talked about this before. I'll try to film that next week. Um, I'll just go through, you know, how I got started trading, what happened, when it happened, how it happened, step by step. Talk about it a little bit over and over. Uh, I'll go over some of the stuff that I failed on. I've talked about all that before, some of the failures that I've had and some of the victories that I had, but I'll, I'll try to explain them a little better for everybody. Um, 83 people. Watching, 83 likes. Nice. If we get to 100 and 100, that'd be great. Um, all right, so let's pivot back to crypto here for a second and uh, look at some stuff that we want to talk about. A lot of the crypto market came down pretty hard. I'm going to start with Bitcoin here. But did it really come down that hard? Look, this thing ran straight down to 786 and bounced bitcoin did on the cme chart it ran straight down to 786 slapped 786 and threw a monster candle here why does it say monster candle because that shit was really ugly for a while now is this the opportunity to run in here and buy if you caught this at the bottom sure but if you didn't not quite we haven't made a higher high or a higher low yet all we've done is created a 786 smash Maybe that's a higher low, but we certainly haven't created a higher high. And if that's the case, no thank you. Not only that, but we have not crossed the 8 and the 21 EMA or the pivot or the 50 fib. None of them. Close, but not yet. That's still got a little bit more to go. In fact, this looks like a bull trap to me. This looks like a sucker play. If you buy this, you may get stuck and liquidated because it may continue to wick down some more. Yes, there's another CME gap down here. That hasn't closed yet. Very well, very well could close that. We're going to get some up based on all the really big red we had late, lately. You're going to have to have some up to fill in those gaps a little bit. Don't worry. I think may, I think more down may be ahead. We haven't proven anything yet. We haven't had a higher high or a higher low yet. Again, one thing at a time. Someone brought up Luna. Luna has been a top performer. We will look at that. Um, Northrop Grumman. Yeah, there's another one, dude. Um, with Luna, would you wait for the clouds? This looks like it's going to make another run to me. It's super close, Jonathan Brown. We'll look at it. Um, so, yeah, uh, Bitcoin still a, still a little bit of a trap. I like the fact that it smacked 786, but it hasn't done quite enough yet. Ethereum, similar. Similar. Through a similar candle, but not quite the same performance. Okay? Similar situation. Again, just a little lower on the time, on the on the run than Bitcoin. 
may take a little longer to get going here. And that's still a gnarly looking chart. That's nothing to brag about at all. Um, potential double bottom, sure. But until we see a higher high and a higher low, no thank you. Okay. Close, but no go yet. Um, people have asked me about Strong. Strong took a gnarly fall. And as a matter of fact, let's pull up Coin Trader here and look at this. From the bottom to the top, measuring the downtrend, smack the 50, failed, come all the way down straight to 1618. I had my 1618 a little lower. I had it at 235 before. And as you see, this thing came all the way down to 216, a little farther than I thought it would go. But it did come down here and try to catch some support. I think there's good support at this area. And I've said this before because you got two boxes here. You got this box. Of support and you've got this box of support which are both pretty similar which could hold this price up here and keep it from falling too far even if it does break through these which I don't think it's super likely to do there's more support down here and that's asking this thing to go down a ton more it's already went down a lot so I don't foresee that right now yes it could come all the way down to 185 which is all the way down here to that other support zone but again, I feel like there would be a heavy bounce there because that's a ton of falling really fast. And that much fall usually results in a reversal. Now, I'm not saying reversal back up to high prices. I'm saying at least stopping the down and maybe moving sideways. That being said, be careful here. If you're going to try to catch a falling knife, have some kind of stopping point. If you can get some kind of rebate and you've done really well and you cashed in rewards and something like that and you want to buy, fine. But understand that this is still not a buy signal. It's still not. It's nothing here confirmed at all. Buying this is taking a chance. It's got good risk reward. Don't get me wrong. But it's still a chance that you may not want to take. Don't take it if you're not willing to lose. 93 people watching. Let's go. 85 likes. 15 more. Come on. I want to keep that record going. Um, SQQQ. Someone told me about this one from the other stream. I was like, really? Yeah, look at that. Oh, boy. Jesus Christ. Look at that gnarly-ass candle, dude. Ha! That looks awful. Get a drink here. Just water. Just water. Yeah, that's a gnarly candle. Back to the AEMA. It's a look like on the weekly. Oh, that's an ugly weekly candle on SQQQ. Boy, oh boy, that could fail hard. You better be careful. I would be running from this one right now. No, thank you. That's a really ugly candle. Ugh. Get me, get me out of that one. Luna. Ugh. I don't want to look at that no more. That shit's gnarly. All right. Here we got Luna breaking trend. I like it. Trying to make a higher high, higher low has on the short term time frame. We got a higher high, higher low. Nice. Broke the pivot. Excellent. MACD's turning up. What does the RSI look like? Let's pull it up and see. The strength index. Knock off a setting or two here. We don't want moving averages in there. That's stupid right there. All right. RSI says, hey, look at there. We bounced up over the 40 and the 50 line and broke from clean. It appears as though this divergence right here, this bearish divergence has broken and created bullish divergence. Bullish convergence, I'm sorry, because the chart's going up at the same time the RSI is. Nice. Um, pivots. We're over the pivot. That's good. Someone brought up the cloud. Let's have a gander at that. Um, there we go. Oh, breaking into the cloud. It's close. It's not a go yet. You only have a couple check marks. You got the lag line over. That's good. You've got the conversion over the base. That's good. But the problem is you don't have the price over the cloud yet or the cloud turning green yet. However, if you look, the cloud is clearly converging in on itself, and that's going to flip sooner or later. This thing could idle and get stuck in the cloud and bounce on this trend line, all right? Be careful. Because that happens, that would still be bullish, even though it's going down because it's on the other side of the trend line. Just be prepared if you see that. That might suck and scare you at first, but that would still be okay. 
Luna right now is technically a buy by the 8 and the 21 EMA. Again, while you're trying to catch this stuff, please set a stop loss. If you don't understand how to set a stop loss, please know. Everybody's got a different strategy, but one must be set, especially in times like this when this chart could, you know, at a snap of a dime, snap of a finger, reverse on you. I don't want to see that happen. So please have your stop loss set. 96 people watching, 91 likes. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. API 3. API 3. USD Binance. Still chugging along here. Still over the 821. Still trying. Creating a bit of a pennant. And if you look here on a uh, shorter time frame, like maybe four hour, you've got a lower, low, lower high situation forming. So let's be careful here. Uh, this thing could catch some divergence and fall. Um, all right for the time being. U.S. mail. <laughs> Can you look at DAG? Yes, let's look at DAG real quick. Oh, I hit my pen. I bought some new pens the other day with the business account. Man, this is nice having nice pens. Remember these pilot pens from when you were in school? They had this funky design on them. I bought a pack of them. I was like, hey, man, I remember those. Only the rich kids had those. And I bought a pack of pens. And it was $4, dude. Whole four bucks. I went in there and cleaned out. I bought legal pads. I bought a whole shit ton of Sharpies, dude. I bought a bunch of highlighters. Like, fuck out of here, dude. You can't even see it because I got a green screen behind me. I got a blue one. Let's go. I bought a whole bunch of high I bought a whole bunch of highlighters because I didn't have any. I was irritated. Post-it notes. Got you, bro. All this is the all this is the office stuff I had been putting off buying. <laughs> I finally went and bought. Uh, you know, another thing about retirement, you know, <clears throat> some people on here are gonna talk about how, you know, they can't wait to be retired because they have so much time. Guess what, y'all? I've been just as busy, if not busier, in retirement here than I have in my regular job. Why? Because all the stuff that I put off for years. I'm having to do now. I'm having to take care of this stuff that I didn't do before. 97 likes. Three more. Three more. Three more likes. Let's go. Let's go. Hit the like button, folks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 89 people watching. We didn't quite break 100 yet. We got 99 likes. Come on. Those pilot pins are boss. I know, right? Nexo. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at DAG, Nexo, and Flux next. So. DAG here still looks bad. You know, ever since the nodes came out, this thing has dropped in value exponentially and uh, hasn't really returned yet, but nothing but bad. I hate it for the people who bought the node price of the coin at this high, high point up here because you've lost a ton of value. Um, this is still knife. This is still a fallen knife. It's all the way under trend. It's while it does have some good buy pressure here on that red candle, that's good buy pressure. It's still not enough yet. I want to see it flip this thing and pull back over the 821, and I want to see it break that trend line. I can clearly see that the trend line's there, and because of that, I'm going to hold off on DAG. Flux. 102 likes. Let's fucking go. Awesome, people. Thank you. Now let's get some more viewers on here because we don't. <laughs> I don't know how to get more viewers, so uh, that, that's one thing. Uh, flux. Ooh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's send a stream out to Twitter real quick, shall we? Let's do that live on air, everybody. Live right now. Come hang out for a bit. There we go. Let's see if people actually come hang out. Probably not. So. Flux, not great. Not great at all. Actually, let me pull up a better flux chart. KuCoin has good data. Yes, it does. There we go. Flux did throw a pretty decent uh, a pretty decent buy pressure right here. Again, I need to see it flip this thing and go the other direction. It hasn't done that yet. Because of that, it's still a no. Um, I know the nodes are coming out for cheaper and stuff like that. You got pretty sideways indicators here. 
Um, but the thing is, you haven't got a confirmed buy yet. So if you're going to buy more flux nodes, you're going to cost yourself money because the, the value is going to drop. And honestly, the value will probably drop faster than the rewards will come in. I know that sucks, but that's just the facts of it. And I know people are going to look at that and say, no, 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 Keith, you don't understand. It's passive income. I understand how passive income works. But know that the passive income you're making, you could have had somewhere else doing better than what you're trying to catch. You know, I, this sucks, but you could put it in stables and make pretty good money on stables rather than being in a gala or rather than being in and buying a flux node that's it's not making you very much. Um, <laughs> Raging Beagle said, LOL, here comes the haters. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Shorty says, I need to retire and see the dentist. Uh, VRA, let's look at VRA after we do Nexo. Nexo, any XO USD. Um, we will do Bitfinex. That's fine. Next, so with a big, big buy pressure candle. I like this one so far of all of them that I've seen. Really gnarly doji candle right here. This doji could flip and turn this thing back up here. That'd be great. Um, I like the buy pressure, but it's still not a buy yet. It did bounce off support. That's good. All this down here acted as support during this uh, during this uh, retrace. You see this, be very careful. You still haven't quite broken the trend yet. Still not much to see here as far as uh as far as a lot of up. This looks like more downtrend heading heading in, still going. So even though we have buy pressure, eyes open, but don't necessarily ape in yet. You don't have a buy signal exactly yet. FWT. All right, let's get a pull up VRA first. VRA, USD. Mm, same situation for VRA. You got good buy pressure there, but it's not as good as the last couple. Not as good as them. No buy signal on the 821. RSI is under 40. Uh, MACD is rolled over. Uh, the pivot. Um, I took the fucking pivots off. Why did I do that? I knew I was going to go back to them. Do you hate when you do stuff like that? Hey, everybody, this is live. This is the way I do shit live. I, I don't hide anything or pull any punches. Guys have never been on here before. First time because you just came from Twitter. Great. Hey, what's up, Vertical Pedal Garage? Good to see you, brother Chad. Beaven Wilson, good to see you. XLM, let's do that real quick. XLM, we got a couple minutes. VRA, under the pivot also. Nothing here jumps out at me and tells me to buy. It's just not quite ready. So FWT, FWT, USD. Ascendix. Um, yeah, big no on this one. Nothing right here jumps out and says buy it all. All it's all short. Short everywhere. It bounced off S3. I kinda like that, but it hasn't done anything yet. I had some buy pressure there. Not enough. It hasn't done anything yet that jumps out at me and says go. XLM. Oh, I drew a bunch of shit on this chart. There we go. XLM still falling. No buy. Clear cut downtrend right here. This has to break. Hasn't broken yet. I'll give you the line here for it to break. Right about here. As you see there, that's nothing but lower highs and lower lows all the way down. Not good enough. Every indicator is rolled over or sideways. No thank you for XLM either. Um, we already did strong Conrad. Um, uh, looks like it could bounce from here, but we don't have any confirmation just yet. Uh, pre-search got that right here. Fire it up. Similar situation with lower highs and lower lows moving sideways. No buy yet at all. You had a dragonfly. No, you had a, you had a hammer candle, but prove it. We have a hammer candle. That's good buy pressure. Now show me something other than just temporary sideways and up. I want to see big ups here, okay? It's not good enough yet. The pre-search is going to be a no. GSX. GXS, you mean? That one's close, but uh, again, similar situation to pre and flux and nexo. It's still in a downtrend. It has to break. 
I haven't seen a higher high or a higher low form yet, which tells me it's not ready. That's just simply not ready yet. Got to break trend, and it hasn't done it. And even after it breaks trend, it needs a test. All this stuff's going to take a bit to get moving, you see. Um, MTV is a good one. We haven't done MTV in a minute. MTV, multi-vac. Because you never need one vacuum. You always need more than one vac. Right? Multis. <laughs> So uh, similar situation, no buy signal yet. You did get some decent sale pressure, but not a lot. I like the fact that this thing's holding over 40 on the RSI, but that's about the only thing that's got it going for it right now. Everything else is a no. I have too many no's and not enough yeses. That's going to be a no for me on MTV. Sorry. MTV. Oh, thank you. Um, pocket. Yeah, we can do that real quick. A lot of people ask me about that one. Pocket Network, short as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that'd be a big fat no for Pocket. No, 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 no. Um, let's see. Ah, Capitana. I'm sorry, I missed that one. ANC, you're right. ANC USDT. You had asked me about that. Oh boy, look at there. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Capitana, for that one. Um, that's awesome. You showed us a chart that actually has some promise here. Every indicator is sweeping up, but I don't like that RSI peeking into overbought right there. That's a little bit of a one inside. That plus the fact that you're caught in Sniper's Alley right here between R1 and R2. This could just bounce around and go sideways here and get hung up. Let's wait it out and see. Um, anchor. Anchor protocol, pretty neat. I have some USDT, uh, US, UST staked over on Anchor, earning a pretty decent price on uh, on stables. Uh, in a in a bear market, you can do that, folks. You can make money in a bear market. Figure that out. Um, this is still a go, but I'd be very careful here because this is right at redistribution. This may get hung up at redistribution and fail for you, all right? I don't want to see that happen. Um yeah, Terra Luna and ANC, right? Yeah, I had that's, that's Luna Station, the wallet that you stake it on, and then you go over to uh, Anchor Protocol and stake the UST. You can buy oh, you can buy UST on your MetaMask, which is awesome, or you can get UST on KuCoin and send it from there to one. You can also get Luna on Crypto.com, or you can get UST over on Coinbase and send it. But you have to send it ERC20 if you do that, which means send it to MetaMask, Swap it and then bridge it on bridge.terra.swap or TerraSwap or whatever it is. Uh, you can bridge it. I, 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 that's how I did it. I bridged from one thing to another. Um, yeah, anchors going in the cloud. Let's look at that. Good, good call. Let's let's have a gander at what you're saying. So it's going into the cloud. Let's look at that real fast. Why not? Right? We got one more minute left. What the fuck? Why not? Take the pivots off. Let's pull up the cloud and confuse all the new people. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a that's above the cloud. That's not going in, folks. That's green on the end. That's excellent. That's price over cloud. That is S Moy Excellente. Blue over red. That's conversion over base. Very good. And you've got the lag line over the candles and trying to get on over the cloud, which would be extra. May come down and hover over top and balance on this flat spot right here. Nothing super wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, Anchor made a run like a son of a bitch, didn't it? Look at it cut right through the cloud. Beautifully. Beautifully. All right, so it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Can you can you clarify exactly what to do whenever you mean to be very careful to see? It's already in redistribution. That very well may turn around and go backwards, go the other way. It very well may retrace, like I said, at the top of this cloud right here. And because of that, I would stop and have some pause. Midnight, I only do this for an hour on Tuesdays and Thursdays. In fact, I'm going to start doing a European stream. And if I start doing a European stream, I very well may likely cut back the Tuesday stream to 30 minutes and then do two streams on Tuesdays, one for European and one for Crypto After Dark. Okay. Not exactly sure yet on that. Still trying to iron out the details. Also doing classes. If anybody wants a private class, hit me up. That's over on Calendly. The link is at 786unlimited.com. As you see, patreon.com forward slash Carolina Keith at the bottom. If you want to hit the Discord, sign up for Patreon and get in the Discord. The Discord general chat is free, but that's all that's free. Come hang out with us. 
Come hang out with us. Why not? It's not very much money. It's a whopping $16 for the unlimited. Oh, my God. That's so much money. Anyway, I'll leave y'all with this. It's been a crazy week for me. And uh, you know what? I hope I have a better week next week. Thank y'all all for coming. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, like the late, great, notorious B.I.G. said, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate that shit. Y'all be good, man. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next stream.